Hi Cancer, this is your behind the scenes reading for November 2021. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for November 2021. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for November 2021 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of cancer for november 2021 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, cancer. Hi. <laughs> cancer, these are your cards, darling. So, Cancer, you have uh -oh, the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So, Cancer, you can tell me that, yes, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, but Tens are ending, so you could tell me that, you're coming up out of feeling this sense of betrayal or getting over it or, you know, getting past it or, you know. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So, Cancer, listen... They may have caused you a sense of betrayal, and so you're kind of standoffish, shunning, setting boundaries with them, like get the heck away from me. However, you can tell me that you're being accused of something here, okay? And maybe you're trying to give your defense or excuse, but the mere fact of them accusing you is the betrayal. You understand what I'm saying? Ooh, child, I can't stand for nobody to accuse me of something that I did not do. Ugh. Cancer, you have the Five of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So, Cancer, you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. You could also be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Clarify the Five of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Cups for Cancer. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So listen, hmm, Cancer. Yes, you could be conflicted within. You're hurt, okay? You're in a hurt space here. But you could also tell me that you guys had this conflict, this disagreement, this argument. And again, I ask. Are you being accused of something and there's this argument taking place and this is what's causing you this betrayal because they think that you did whatever it is they're accusing you of? 
Cancer, you have yourself the Queen of Cups, Scorpio Cancer of Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Now, Cancer, this is you. <sighs> Clarify the Queen of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Cancer. What about Cancer? What about Cancer? Clarify the Queen of Cups for Cancer. And you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Cancer, listen, I don't know. I just, it just it bothers me when it's not straight. <laughs> Cancer, listen, <clears throat> you can see the setup here. You can actually see the setup here. You guys may have had this heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another with this argument, this disagreement here, and you're kind of on the defense, okay? However, something could be happening quickly here, and I don't feel like you use this fast, rapid moving energy of communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. However, you could be being accused of it, remember? Cancer, you have the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, should not? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, the minute I say that you could possibly be accused of this, you know, it pops up. Ay, so, listen. You can tell me that you're wearing things out trying to decide here, or you're telling me that there was some type of juggling here. Clarify the two of pentacles for cancer. They could have been juggling. This is what caused you the sense of betrayal. Clarify the two of pentacles for cancer. Clarify the two of pentacles for cancer. It is clarified with the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So, Cancer, yes, you can be weighing it up within yourself on whether or not you should block communication with them. However, you can tell me you block communication with them because of the juggling. And this is what the whole argument and betrayal is about, is some type of juggling on their behalf. Cancer, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that things are ending here. You can tell me that things can start new after an ending, but some type of transformation. Clarify death for cancer. Clarify death for cancer. Clarify death for cancer. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that, yes, you guys had a strong twin flame magnetic pull between you. Yes, but you could also tell me that there was another other lover. I see your hurt. I see your defensive. <sighs> but I want to see if it's possible that you were the one who had the other lover, okay? Because you may be being accused is what I'm telling you, okay? But, yeah, you can tell me you're blocking and fussing with them because they had the other lover. They were juggling. Clarify the lovers for cancer. Clarify the lovers for cancer. Clarify the lovers for cancer. 
it is clarified with the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius this queen is a no nonsense type of queen she already knows the truth she'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity but she has no problems with cutting people places and things out of her life that no longer serve her could be dealing with this gemini libra aquarius or someone with air prominent in their chart However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the Devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So, Cancer. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation, okay? Clarify the devil for Cancer. Clarify the devil for cancer clarify the devil for cancer it is clarified with the wheel of fortune this is divine timing at play this is the karmic wheel of destiny this is a faded event this is change in your luck and fortune where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you so cancer listen you can tell me that everything has changed between you guys you can tell me it's about divine timing here or this is an actual change in your luck and fortune. Could be about divine timing because you could tell me that you're thinking of like, should I, shouldn't I block them? So timing, you know. But you could also tell me that everything has changed because things are toxic. There's a cutting off and an ending happening because there's another other lover here. Clarify the wheel of fortune for cancer. Clarify the wheel of fortune for cancer. Clarify the wheel of fortune for cancer it is clarified with the ten of cups scorpio cancer of pisces this is emotional fulfillment this is the apex card this is the happy family happy life happy wife happy stable committed relationship and happy home this is what we're all striving for so we're speaking of marriage commitment home family emotional fulfillment so cancer you guys may have had this commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics going on. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to this, okay? Ending, ending. Everything has changed because it's toxic. And so there is a cutting off because there was another other lover here. And I feel like you're blocking communication with them, okay? I feel like you just don't want to have anything to do with them because you started off telling me they betrayed you and you're hurting your mourning here, okay? And conflicted with them. But yes, you guys could have had a heated discussion or argument because of it, okay? Cancer, this is your behind the scenes reading for November 2021. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week.